Hello, good morning, kids. Our lesson for today is about solving multi-step routine word problem involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem solving strategies. Of course, with me, Ma'am Maritan. So let's start. Choose your answer from the box on the proper operation to be used in each keyword. Write only the letter on the chat box. For letter A, it's addition. For letter B, subtraction. For letter C, multiplication. For letter D, division. Are you ready? Thumbs up? That's nice. Number one, take away. What operation will be? Take away. Very good. So, letter B is subtraction. Let's go. Number two, equally. What operation will do? Equally. Very nice. The answer is letter D. Division. Three. Combine. What operation will be? Combine. Fantastic. It's letter A. Addition. Okay, in class, number four, times. What operation will be times? Very good. It's multiplication. Number five, diminish. What operation will be diminish? Good job! It's letter B. Subtraction. 6. Change. Change. What operation will be? Amazing! It's letter B. Subtraction. For number 7. Product. What operation will be product? Nice one! It's letter C, multiplication. Next, number 8. Added 2. Added 2. What operation will be? Very good! It's A, addition. Number 9, difference. What operation will be? Difference. Good job. It's letter B, subtraction. For the last number, quotient. Quotient. What operation will be? Fantastic! It's letter D. Division. Nice one, class. Now, in addition for the words that you need to remember when in terms of addition, the word is add, plus, and, total, increase, more, some, and together. When you hear that all, all words, it's for addition. The operation is addition. Next, for subtraction, you can encounter some words like take away, minus, less or less than, reduce, remain, how many more, Difference, take for a uh, fewer, 
take from. So that's all for subtraction. So the operation is subtraction. Next, for multiplication, uh, addition word is multiply. Times, product, multiplied by, times, tab tables, doubled, lots of, group of. That's all for multiplication. And for the division, additional word is divided by. Share, divide, divide into, share equally, each, group, div divisible by. So that's all for division. So now, who am I? Give the equation statement. Find the number as 4. Okay, let us try to equate this one. Number 1. 8 more than the product of 6 and 5 is what number? So, we're looking for the equation. So, we have the combination of 6 and 5 with the operation of product. So, mean, meaning multiplication. So, 6 times 5. So, we do have our parentheses here because we combine the two numbers in one operation. And then, the next operation is 8 more than. So, when, when we talk about more than, is addition. So, plus 8 is what number? Equals to n. So, the equation is now 6 times 5 plus 8 is equal to n. So, first, we need to know the product of 6 times 5. And 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And then, bring down the operation and the number. So, now, 30 plus 8 is equal to 38. The answer now, or the n, is 38. Let's try number 2. What is 5 times the sum of 8 and 9? So, first, we write the sum of 8 and 9. So, 8 plus 9. And then, write the parentheses. Next is 5 times. So, we need to times by 5. Equals now to n. So, that will be our equation in number 2. So, to answer this, so, we have 8 plus 9. So, we need to answer 8 plus 9 first. So, 8 plus 9 is 17. And bring down the remaining operation will be times 5. So, 17 times 5 is 85. Very good. So, the end is now 85. Let's go to another statement number 3 4 less than the sum of 12 and 2 is what number so we have another group the sum of 12 and 2 so we need to write the parentheses first and then combine or sum get the sum of 12 and 2 so we have 12 plus 2 and the next operation, 4 less than. So, less than is subtraction. Minus 4 equals N. So, now we are going to find the answer for, for that number. So, we have 12 plus 2 minus 4 equals to N. So, we need to find the sum first of 12 plus 2. And for 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. And then, bring down the remaining operation, which is 14 minus 4. So, now, 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. So, the answer is 10. 
Next number, number 4. What is 7 times the product of 9 and 5? Again, we have the combination. The product of 9 and 5. So, we have to write the parentheses first. Then, write 9 times 5. Okay. And then, the next operation is, what is 7 times? So, 7 times is times 7 equals n. Okay? How, how we are going to solve this one? So, first, do the parentheses. So, 9 times 5 is 45. And then, bring down the remaining operation, the, the remaining number. So, 45 times 7 is equal now to 315. So, N is 315. Number 5. 9 added to the product of 3 and 4 is what number? So, we have a combination again of two numbers. The product of 3 and 4. So, we have the parentheses. The product of 3 and 4. So, 3 times 4. Okay. So, we have 3 times 4. And then, the next operation is 9 added. When we say added is addition. So, plus 9 equals n. So, we are now for number 5. So, 3 times 4 plus 9 is equal to n. So, we need first to find the product of 3 times 4. And 3 times 4 is 12. And then, bring down the remaining number and operation. So, 12 plus 9 is equal to 21. So, the final answer is 21. Now, class, that you already know how to create an equation using a sentence. So, let's start with the story problem. Listen very carefully. I will read it twice. During this time of pandemic, we must take care of ourselves to keep our bodies strong and healthy. Fruits are in demand in the market. And so, Miss Maritime, a fruit dealer, has 40 car crates of mangoes in her delivery truck. Each crate has 100 mangoes. She delivered 15 crates to Jerry's Fruit Store. 15 crates to Mark Fresh Fruit Store. And sold the rest in the market. How many fruits were sold in the market? I will read it again. During this time of pandemic, we must take care of ourselves to keep our bodies strong and healthy. Fruits are in demand in the market. And so, Miss Maritan, a fruit dealer, has 40 crates of mango in her delivery truck. Each crate has 100 mango. She delivers 15 crates to Jerry's Fruit Store. 15 crates to Mark Fresh Fruit Store and sold the rest in the market. How many fruits were sold in the market? Now class, let us analyze the problem. So in analyzing the problem, we need to remember the four steps in solving the problem. So first is to understand, second is to plan, and third is to solve and lastly to look back now class for the first step we need to understand so we need to know what is asked in the problem so now class the question in the problem how many fruits were sold in the market so we are going to find the number of fruits were sold in the market. So now class, what are the given facts? We have 40 crates 
and 100 rainbows in each crate. And then we have 15 crates sold to Jerry's Food Store and 15 crates sold in Mark's Fresh Food Store. And the rest will sold to the market. Second step, we need to plan. So, in planning, we need to know the operation. So, the operation that needed is addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So, before that, we need to know what is the hidden question. But the question is, how many fruits are there are sold in the market? So, the hidden question is, the number of crates sold in the market. Because, we already know that 15 crates were sold to Jerry and 15 crates were sold to Mark. So, that is our hidden question. Now, let us analyze more according to the problem. So now, in the problem, Miss Maritan, a fruit dealer, has 40 crates of mangoes in her delivery truck. So I have here, delivery man with the truck and the crate inside. Okay? Now, each crate has 100 mangoes. So if I get each crate, so inside the crate is 100 Okay, now. Now, the fourth statement is she delivered 15 crates to Jerry's fruit store. So we have Jerry's fruit store. We have now 15 crates. And then, to mark fresh fruit tall is also 15 and the rest in the market so the hidden question how many crates are there in the market so it's already sold the third step is to solve and giving the number sentence remember class we have delivery truck with 40 crates and we sold the crates to the cherry store 15 crates sold and 15 crates sold to mark store but remember in each crate we have 100 bingo so to enable to have our equation first we need to get the sum of 15 and 15 so we have 15 plus and we write the parentheses. After that, we, we subtract it by the number of grades, the total number of grades. And then multiply it by the, tot the total number in each grade, we have 100 mangoes. So equal now to n. So the statement will be, what number is 40 minus the sum of 15 and 15 multiplied? by 100. In solving this one class, we need to rewrite the equation. Again, it's 40 crates minus the sum of the two sold to Jerry and Mark. So, 15 plus 15. And then, multiplied by the number of mangoes of each crate. Now, in answering this problem, so we need to answer first the addition. So we have 15 plus 15 is 30. And then, bring down the rest of the equation that is not yet solved. But remember class, in answering this multi-step, remember that we need to solve this from left to right. 
this is the same as reading so we need to fold this one from left to right so the first and the next step is subtraction so 14 minus 30 now is 10 so this will be the hidden question how many crates were sold to the market it's 10 and then bring down the rest of the equation which is multiplied by the number of mango in each crate so we have 100 so 10 times 100 or 100 times 10 is equal to 1000 for the last step we have look back check and label so in looking back so we need to know the number of fruits were sold in the market. Now, my question is, what is your final answer? So there are 1,000 mangoes sold in the market. So that's it. And for your assignment, analyze the word problem, then solve, write your answer on the space provided. Just key in or turn in your answer in our Google Classroom.